Every time I'm done snow blowing, I always make sure I clean off the machine completely. By doing this, it makes sure the machine doesn't rust. And if you get a snowstorm the next day without a thaw, some of this stuff might freeze in here. Because right now the engine and the machine is hot. And there's things in there melting right now. And if they freeze in place, it might not work. There was one time the auger would not move. Every time I tried to engage it, it, it just, the belt kept rubbing. I couldn't get it to start that one day. So ever since, when I'm done, I let the auger spin for a few minutes to make sure as much is out as possible. Then the rest of it, I get out with brushes. Today was a heavy wet snow, a little more difficult to do. Wasn't too bad. I brush out every part of this. I get back inside there. I use any brush I have around. An ice scraper for a car I found doesn't work too well. This works great. This is for a toilet. That's what I use. I get it off as much as I can. And also, it's not good to put your machine away covered in snow, even if there is going to be a thaw, because this melts out all over your shed or garage floor, and that moisture is unnecessary. It helps rust machines, all the tools you have in that building. It's just not good. And also, if you run over a salty sidewalk, if you're clearing a sidewalk that you know has salt underneath it, go run your machine through some clean snow to make sure all the salt is out of the machine so it doesn't cause damage. And also, every time I start my machine up, all these joints, I oil them. I don't oil them now because they're full of water, but I'll do it before I start snow blowing. Here on the top of this, I get all this stuff off. Here's some big chunks that fell out of the auger. This was a day that you gotta run your machine fast or it clogs up. I get it out of the wheels because these wheels here actually tend to, these rust really fast for whatever reason. The controls. Also, there's some things up here. Before operation, I always oil these joints for the auger control. All these joints, it's better to have them greasy than rusty. Because anything I don't get is going to melt off all over on the garage floor and help rust other machines. That looks pretty good. Back up the machine. This can just be shoveled over to the side. Now I'm going to get as much out of here as I can now that I backed up the machine. That's it.